Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another video on Action Time and In. Today we're gonna keep testing Tokiko, but before we start, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. So last time we tested Tokiko, but we were piloting her. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna let the AI pilot Tokiko. Tokiko is going to work very well against those enemies which have um, multiple uh, mobs in the stage. Queen Canaloa, uh, LWS Squad. Queen Arachne is actually like the worst pick uh, because, not, not the worst pick exactly, but among the enemies that have mobs, this is one that has a couple disadvantages, design-wise, uh, if we're taking into consideration Tokiko's gameplay. So, number one, she has reduced duration for every debuff, and Tokiko is a debuffer, so that's not great, but we'll manage, even so. The other thing that it plays against Tokiko is the fact that the enemies are going to be organized in a circle around uh, the, the stage and Tokiko likes to fight uh, the enemies when they are all together because that's the way she's going to deal the most damage to them. So even so she did fine on my runs so I'm going to show you how we're using it. We have two builds here and to cheese the AI's flaws we're gonna be using Lapis. You see, Tokiko doesn't have healing unless you're using the, the weapon and even so it's not like the most busted healing ever. Uh, so we're gonna be using Lapis to heal Tokiko and that way it doesn't matter that we are not piloting here. If you don't have healing, you do want to pilot Tokiko or you want to use a, a very aggressive control strategy like Mind Control or uh, White Feather Asuka. Then, starting with Tokiko. Tokiko, as you know, is 87. These are her stat trainings. Uh, this is the weapon. We're gonna go uh, green first, so it is just a bit stick. This is four out of five plus 15. Uh, five out of five plus 10. We're gonna use anti-demon wind magatamas with whatever magatamas on the subslot. We're using Time and in Art because uh, Time and in Art is like very generic. We don't want to get near the enemy. Then we're gonna use Glory Boyance, of course, and Blast because we want to reduce the defense of the enemy as much as possible so that we can delete delete the enemy. And then we're gonna be using Lapis. No, yeah, Lapis. Um, you can, of course, use Felicia. But, I mean, Lapis is way more proficient at healing. So, I recommend that you go with Lapis. So, for Lapis... Um, oh, yeah, I, I almost forgot the stats from the customs. And let's go with Lapis. Lapis, 87. These are her uh, stats from st stat training. The weapon is going to be the much weapon, 5 out of 5, plus 15. And a whatever weapon, 5 out of 5, plus 15. We're going to be using... Anti-Demon Ice and Water with whatever Magatamas on the subslot. We're going to be using Piercing Dash, James Support, and Moral Boost. Along with Onigumo. I hope you're farming that Onigumo. Onigumo is going to be super great here. Also, we're going to use Anna Rose. Uh, Anna Rose to have the synergy with the Momochi weapon. And Arabella. Here we're going more aggressive, but... Depending on what you want to do, you could always go with different options, like putting, uh, of course, Lilim. I don't see Lilim. Lilim, Nana. You can also equip um, Blackbeard Kirara. You can equip Akina in case you want that. Uh, so go for whatever supporters you you want. Here is the stats from the customs. Uh, the, here are the starts from the customs and let's go with Shiranui. Uh, so before we actually start with this, there's um, three characters who have UR uh, 
uh, Wicked Star weapons, the, the VR weapons, which are going to be Shiranui, Astaroth, and Spinel. You can equip, you can uh, select whichever character you like or want. Uh, of course, there's also other options uh, for characters with SR weapons that are anti-demon. So be sure to select whichever you want. And even if you don't have the VR anti-demon weapons or the SR anti-demon weapons, you can select a strong character that you use or maybe just Shisui and farm the stage. So we are using here Shiranui because I wanted to go red. So I'm going to be using the anti-demon weapon, Arachnid Sector, 5 out of 5 plus 15 with anti-demon Magatama's fire element, a whatever weapon, 5 out of 5 plus 15, whatever Magatama's on the subslot. And we're going mix because we can, as simple as that. We're using Genegin, Genegin, yep, yeah, and Rondo with the basic enhancer. If you want to change Genegin for something else, like, uh, for example, I, I, I think that I'm going to change it for this one. Uh, it is fine because the enemy is kind of slow compared to other enemies and the mobs are far away. So, yeah... I didn't have that many opportunities to activate Genegin, so I'm I'm changing it here. But you can use it, or you can use the the other one, the other perfect dodge. Uh, using Gene Sekai is not an option because I'm going mixed. But if you go pure, you can use it. So what I'm going I'm going to be using here, Galilim, uh, just because it's easy. If you want to go with more damage, you can also use. Um, where are you? Yeah, Holy Knight Kirara, especially if you have the 5 out of 5 version of it. Uh, I haven't used Stunner Machine, so I don't. Uh, you can also use Stella, of course. I, I, am I am suggesting this over Yukina, because Yukina is not going to, to enhance your basic attacks. That's the only issue. Uh, yep, yeah, so there's other supporters that you can use. Of course, we're using Susune, one of the best supporters in the game. And on the main, I'm using Butler Asagi because we can take advantage of that uh, speed immunity, uh, slow immunity. It is amazing. Also, I get the benefit of uh, having it 5 out of 5, which gives me 30% HP increase, which is amazing. It also enhances my speed and it reduces the speed of the enemy. I mean, this is perfect against... Uh, Queen Arachne is one of the best supporters that you can use against this boss in particular with a human character that is it is only good if you don't go with human uh, let's see so okay my damage is reduced but it doesn't really matter and I use Rondo and I have to do this, nice. And then use Rondo again. And as you see, I'm dealing a good amount of damage. Good enough, at, at least. And I'm not suffering from HP uh, depletion. Like, all my characters are okay with the HP they have. <laughs> they are maxed out. Thanks to Lapis. Yeah, that, that's the reason why I recommend you to use Lapis. Like, Felicia has uh, some disadvantages because the specific niche of Queen Arachne is uh, debuff duration reduction, which <laughs> Felicia does her healing with a debuff. Which has advantages and disadvantages. Like, always proccing that... Um, those supporters that activate on debuff, like Susune. And there we go. Nice, nice, nice. I'm also going to use the... And also the active. And now... Perfect. Very good, very good. Yeah, that uh, speed reduction immunity is amazing. Like, I'm going to show you another build. 
but that character, that specific character, is very weak against uh, Queen Arachne because of the speed reduction. And come on, I, I need to hurry up, I need to hurry up. Perfect, perfect, come on. And there we go. Nice, nice, nice. And also the active. And I use this. Perfect. As you can see, I have no troubles with HP. <laughs> the damage department, that's the thing. Like, Tokiko is good, but I don't think she's like the most busted thing even though she enables uh others by increasing your damage look i'm barely managing to <laughs> to beat this stage on floor um 68 <coughs> yeah which is way different from uh, actually dedicating yourself to to just deal damage like having lapis is always going to be uh, a hindrance because even if you go full damage she doesn't do the damage that Astro uh, does or another great attacker so yeah and it's not the same as having a full team with anti-demon weapons now we're gonna change this for a more aggressive attacker in the form of a spinel and also we're going to change uh this now we're gonna go rev oh the supporters i didn't mention the supporters well uh for the supporters if i'm not mistaken and one using asagi yeah definitely asagi because it enhances human along with um misaki and uh which was the other one uh you just saw it yeah it was uh, nano nano now we're gonna change that we're gonna go with um, the limited weapon on Rev. That's gonna help us out to increase our damage. I'm gonna use Fang, of course, because that's the way we, we have to do the build. And also Clariboyance. So what about the supporters? Number one, you can equip whichever supporter you want on the main. All of them are pretty good. With that out of the way, we're going to use Fujutsuki. Um, like this is kind of a bet you have to use Fuyuski when you're able to to beat the spiders quickly. If they take, if the mobs take too long to to be defeated, this is not a good supporter. Keep that in mind. Uh, we're also using Galilim to gain a little bit of defense while also increase while we also increase the attack, and Susune to increase the attack while while healing. But all the other effects on the main are also pretty good. And, uh, yeah, we, we checked the skills. Sure we did. Uh, for Spinel, what is Spinel going to offer here? Spinel is going to be using a Wicked Star weapon, as you can see, the kind of blade. So she has an anti-demon weapon. A four out of five. Oh, oh, I have to wait. But it works fine, trust me. Uh, you can see the, the numbers. It is an amazing weapon that increases the damage of the demonic arm detonate which is the all blue skill and it's great of course we're gonna get those uh anti-demon web uh, magatamas and a whatever weapon five out of five with magatamas then we have demonic arm detonate uh piercing thirst and uh crystal shard burst so the combo is crystal shard with piercing and then demonic arm detonate the only issue is that you have to position yourself as close as possible to the enemy so that you the enemy is in range of this skill. And you have like little time after doing the full combo to get the most benefit from all your attack buffs. Like, yeah, you have little time because of this one. Let's see. Then, for supports, we're going to be using Kirara, Arabella, 
and Kana. Kana is super important on the main because you can use the active and increase your damage. It's going to be like burst, but it is great. Uh, we have the three buffs from the skills. And we also have the buffs from the leader skill. So yeah, you, you're getting a lot, a lot of damage increase on, on Kana. And yeah, these are the stats of the custom and the stat training. And now let's see how this performs. So hopefully I managed to beat this. Okay, I, I, at least I don't have like damage reduction. The HP is boss, the HP of the boss is increased. But I didn't target the right enemy. Yeah, that that happens a lot with this. One, two, and three, like that. You see, you see the amount of damage this deals. Fortunately, like I don't have the um, what's the name? Yeah, the, the damage reduction, the red damage reduction. That would be very annoying. So there we go. Nice, nice, nice. So first we do this and then we... Oops, no, not like that. One more time, come on. One, two, and three. Nice, perfect. And we break the super armor and we destroy the enemy. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. And we use the money card detonate. Nice. So lastly, I'm just going to wait to do the combo properly. One, two, and three. Excellent, yeah. Well, we activate the uh, supporters active so that we can deal even more damage on that last hit. Look at how easy it was. Yeah, Spinel is really, really strong of a character. And it enhances the whole team, fortunately. So, as you can see, this proves that there is no need to worry about babysitting a character without healing. <laughs> <laughs> things that you already know by this time but uh, when you have a healer like like Lapis uh, so yeah mm, Tokiko is good yeah for sure but she in my opinion she shines the most against LWS squad and Queen Canaloa other than that I do not recommend that you use her or, well, maybe you can use it on, on daily content and events. That's kind of fine, too. But the more enemies there are, the better it is. And you want the enemies to gather together. You saw that Queen Arachne has the mobs spread out and they do not get near because they are ranged mobs. So those are not the best option. Um, so what do you think about Tokiko? Is she good enough? To be on the not not piloted not piloted by the player, like I know that it is a hassle to be forced to use a healer. But either way, like there's a bunch of strategies that rely on healing. But what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.